We used a small archive of Curtis's original glass plate negatives to create our contemporary original gold tones. The steps and care required to complete a gold tone, from the initial exposure and development to final framing, are numerous and exacting. Because of the difficulty and risk in using Curtis's original 6x8 inch glass plate negatives, we used high resolution scans and a film recorder to create our 4x5 printing negatives. Great care must be taken when handling a wet plate, as the emulsion is extremely fragile. There is still an aura of magic during the image forming period and subsequent finishing baths in the darkroom. Sepia toning is a key aspect of Curtis's aesthetic. It took many months of testing and tweaking various toning recipes in order to achieve a rich sepia hue. During the sepia toning process, the metallic silver is converted to a silver sulfide, which greatly increases the archival stability of the final image. Here we are using watercolor pigment to touch up spots created by dust during exposure of the sensitized plate. The finished plate is backed by a custom formulation of fine metallic powders and applied in multiple layers to achieve the gold tone's unique reflective and three-dimensional qualities. We have partnered with a custom framing shop with extensive knowledge of historic processes and techniques to create our replica gold tone frames. From the molded corner details to the custom finish, our replica frames are handmade using historical processes and techniques. Thank you. 